Now just a little warning before we begin, there will be major spoilers in this video for the second episode of Moon Knight, the one called Summon of the Suit. So if you have not seen it yet, you know what to do, click away, come back after you have seen it. Alright, so what did you think of the second episode of Moon Knight? Much like the first episode, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Okay. I thought it was fun. I thought it was it, it was great. I mean, I, I like how they are switching things up a little bit from... I mean, who's the villain? Who well, do you, I... Who do you think is the villain? Well, what I liked about this episode, first of all, before we get into the who I think the villain is, I like that the first episode kind of threw you into the deep end and, you know, here we go, here's Moon Knight, here's our, here's our story, and you kind of had no idea what's going on. Mm-hmm. And this episode, it threw you some floaties. Like, now you can, okay, I got an idea, I can... I can start to figure this out, what's going mm-hmm. on here. It explained a lot, and not in a you know overly exposition way. It did it in a clever way, so that's what yeah. I liked about this episode. Absolutely. I, I think their marketing is really clever for Moon Knight. I mean, the two promo images that they put out last time was the goldfish and the cupcake poster. Yeah. This week we have a poster of Steven's name tag. Yeah, which he... Which he had, yeah. Had to give up. He lost his job, man. Yeah, well, he's got a job as a kick-ass secret agent. Kind of thing. <laughs> Does he? I think he used to, yeah. I well, mean, now he has a job of, you know, being an avatar. Not to be confused with blue people not or... Not that he, he doesn't want to be, though. Blue people or elemental people who are airbending. Sorry. No, you go ahead. No, I'm good. That's it. You're good now? I'm good. Okay. Like you said about the exposition, uh, it liked you could see him watching the footage of what happened. You could see he didn't see the jackal. Layla didn't see the jackal later. Regular people can't see them. Nope. Only avatars. I love Oscar Isaac's performance in this, both both Mark and Steven. I like that he, and I think you've talked about this before, how he talks to each other, how he had his brother kind of fill in. Because it, mm-hmm. it feels like a very natural conversation between the two different, you know, sides of Steven. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, not all, not a lot of times, but, you know, sometimes you'll see a movie or a show where you have somebody, you know, a character who has to... Or an actor who has to talk to themselves. And it just doesn't flow quite right. No, this this feels like he's literally bick, bickering with a different side of himself. What I think is amazing is, uh, and just cinematography-wise, they have to have all these reflective surfaces so that Steven can see himself. <laughs> and yet we have no Admiral Blue Jeans. <laughs> well, not yet, I'm sure. I mean, we haven't, I haven't, at least I haven't noticed any camera equipment, boom mics, lighting rigs, anything in the shiny reflective surfaces well, I, that we're seeing. I would imagine that if they're putting it in there, if they're doing it CGI, they're putting it in there, they're going to make sure not to have that problem. Though, <laughs> I, I still don't know how Admiral Blue Jeans guys exactly. slip through. I mean, holy exactly. cow, how does that happen? Or in that HBO season where there were like Starbucks cups and water bottles in the, in the scene. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Game of Thrones? Yeah. yeah with that uh, uh, Starbucks cup or Lord of the Rings, the car in the background famously. Mm-hmm. That then they like go back later in the director's cut and they're like, I don't see a car. What are you talking about? There's no car. I'm like, you edited it out. Well, I mean, it all makes sense. That's how Gandalf got around so quickly. Because if you know, if you read the books, everything takes years and years. Now, Gandalf had a car. That's how he was getting around Middle Earth so quickly. One, uh, I, I write down notes while I'm watching. I don't, yeah. you, you know that. It's to your benefit, though, that I It do. is, yeah. I like that with Mark being married, Layla was like, oh, I thought Steven was your new alias. You know? She's known Mark a very long time. Yeah. She was surprised when he's, you know, talking about his mother. How long has the uh, persona of Stephen existed? Did Stephen come into existence the same time Moon Knight That's... did when Concho possessed him? Even our villain guy, sort of villain, says uh, that he was, he was wondering, were you already broken or was you easy to break for Concho? Yeah, that's what I was kind of wondering, how long Stephen has been a thing. You know, because we do yeah. know, kind of spoiler alert, that Mark is the real personality. Mm-hmm. Steven is not, which is, I like that the show is kind of fooling you, and hopefully I didn't ruin that for anybody. But, yeah, I I, I do wonder where Steven exactly comes from, how long he's been around. Mm-hmm. And what does he, th- you know, what does he think of his history, you know? Is it one of those things where he, because he always talks about, you know, I've had trouble sleeping my whole life and all these things. So, does he really remember having that trouble, or, or is he only remembering, you know, X number of months and that kind of equates to his whole life without right. him even realizing it. I think he's only remembering his point up to when, when he, quote-unquote, died and Kanchu saved him. Yeah. I like that uh, Arthur tried to, like, fake news, look at Mark as a killer. He killed all these archaeologists. When that's going to be explored more, we've seen in the trailers and stuff, the images of Mark back in Egypt, and I don't want to spoil 
anything, so I'm not going to go further into that, but I thought it was interesting that he's, in a way, trying to turn Stephen against himself. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a smart thing to do, right? Because Stephen seemed to have the ability to block out Mark until he let him back in, so... Yeah. So if you can keep Mark out, you know... It's whoever has the body has more power now. Yeah. So at this point, Mark is left trying to hold Stephen out away, not let Stephen back in. I do like the, the line from Kanchu as well. I punish those who have done harm. I'm real justice. Yes. Instead of the other way around. Mm-hmm. Which is the minority report way where I know you're going to do something <laughs> bad, oh, so I have to I punish you now. Yeah. I couldn't remember the name of the movie, but I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like the whole baby Hitler debate. Like, if you could go back in time and kill baby Hitler, it, would you? And is that right? Because he's not Hitler yeah, I mean, he's obviously his he's name still, is If you Hitler. go back in time and you find baby Hitler, you have a chance to change history. Sure. More you than could... just, I took this guy out, it's, I could teach this person, or sure. I could change him as a person. Yeah, instead, this ability, that the judgment ability, whatever it's called, I mean, it's like, well, I see that you're going to do something bad, so instead of, you know, somehow trying to stop you from doing that, we'll just kill you, and you'll never be able to do it anyway. And I, I like that uh, Arthur even claims that he was once... Kanchu's avatar, but that apparently wasn't justice enough for him. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, I think it's more than a claim. It seems like he, I mean, he knew what he was saying. He kind of, oh, is he saying this to you now? Is he, yeah. Like, I've heard this all before. Yeah, is he talking about how oh, I'm justice right now? And yeah. Mm hmm. But it, it's weird because, in a way, Arthur is trying to eliminate choice. Well, yeah. <laughs> by taking I mean, he's taking away. kind of away free will to an extent. Mm hmm. Because if you were not lining up with what you are, his vision of what, humanity should be you're eliminated and it's interesting in the comic books Kanchu is actually like his thing is he protects travelers in the night he is a moon god makes moon sense night, yeah he's a moon god he protects the travelers of the night he's he is he's he's batman he's the knight's <laughs> justice I, well i don't know if he's batman but <laughs> i think he looks really cool i think the cgi team did amazing with him i like the aesthetic i like the look the movements all really cool. No, I agree with all that. I mean, and you would joke that when they were fighting the invisible Jack, like, oh, they're saving some money on CGI, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's invisible for most of the fight. Yeah. Though even the act of having the characters kind of floating and being beat up probably took a lot of CGI <laughs> itself. Exactly. So don't it think was... they were saving too much money there. No, not at all. I mean, I'm curious to see more of what Arthur can do. What Can he do more with Amet's power than just summon jackals i mean he says he's, it's so. got a sliver of her power in his staff yeah i mean i gotta imagine so right <laughs> maybe you know it was so funny i called this in the last video that that steven was going to turn into mr knight and oh, i know yeah. that's not how it works in the comics but i i liked that i was i was guessing he looked, he looked quite, dapper. For Disney. quite dapper quite dapper he thought he looked pretty dapper too yeah I, that was the first time i think he had actually uh some confidence in himself there yeah and i like that mark made fun of his suit <laughs> it was a nice suit and he pulled up those sticks. He's like, what do I do with these? <laughs> you use them. You hit things. Come on, guy. Let's do it. Kanchu does like him, though. He does like Mark. He's not, like, totally against his will. He told him that he would he, he would protect him. You know? I don't know. There seems to be a lot of... Uh... But he said he would. Well, yeah. But he said that if Mark things, should reject him, he does have to choose a new one. He just happened yeah. to think Layla is a good candidate. Yeah. Which is a uh, good, you know persuasion for him not to abandon and uh, mm -hmm. abandon the suit i guess or being his avatar how does one stop being an avatar i don't know <laughs> i'm sure it's a very complex procedure but apparently it can be done and mark knows how or at least he believes well he arthur knows. knows how yeah that's true too mm -hmm. or maybe that was the other way around maybe he was no longer worthy and got kicked that's out true. and chose yeah. a new Avatar. Maybe Kanchu's like, ah, I hate that guy. In fact, I'm going to guess it's that way, that he was trying to use the suit for things that were not approved. <laughs> Just a guess. Excuse me, did you check with, with your god before you did that? No? no. Oh, we're revoking oh, privileges. Oh, yeah, sorry, that, we're taking that away. No, no, you don't, get to, you don't get to keep that. I know some people found Kanchu's voice a little jarring, but I still think it, I think it works. I think it works. I don't know, again, it still reminds me of Venom. I don't know why. <laughs> I know. Weird. It doesn't sound anything like Tom Hardy. It's not. No, not that it sounds like, like actual the Venom voice, but there's this weird similarity there. I don't know why. I don't know. You're just messed up. I you guess. Maybe the next Avatar. Which one? Of Kanchu. Oh, okay. I didn't know if we were talking blue people. <laughs> he will break the you. Elementals. Stop. Or... Would you stop with other people? There's a lot of Avatars out there. 
You can't just say Avatar without questions coming up. Yes, you can. If we're talking about Moon Knight in a Moon Knight review, which Avatar do you think I'm talking about? The blue one. All right. I guess that's it for the review this week. If you liked this, go ahead and leave a comment below, like the video. Let's talk some uh, Marvel, and thanks for watching. I don't get to do the outro. <laughs> no, it's I got done. my privileges revoked. I guess that's how Avatar things work. You just get taken away. Thanks, thanks. for watching. Bye.